hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for the love so far so today very quickly i'll be talking about the many benefits that you you can have access to as a result of living and working in malta first of all i would like to say this do not turn yourself into a social or a charity case and become a liability for the government just because you want to claim funds yes it's your right i mean you pay your social security every month i mean if you can afford you know i know a few people that do not even care about all of all those allowances you know <laughs> they do not they, they can't be bothered right but i mean this is just this video is just for you to know there are a lot of benefits there are so many benefits like i think there's actually a benefit for everyone really right you pay your social security so yeah so if you are planning on moving to malta or you even live here already this video is for you stay tuned please by the way if you've not subscribed do subscribe do <laughs> if you've not subscribed please do subscribe like i am really excited first of all i would like to say i am really grateful the other day i was just so excited about the fact that i had 62 like subscribers and now overnight i have like 90 already how amazing thank you all so much i would never despise the days of the little beginning so most of these benefits that i'll be talking about they apply to almost everyone so far you live and legally work in malta you have access to these benefits okay so like i mentioned in the videos about cons nothing really gets handed over to you when you arrive in malta i was living here if i when i moved here i mean i was asking around oh okay what kind of benefits do we be privileged to get and you know we were like oh no you're not citizen so it doesn't really apply and all and other oh okay no no problem you know it was one year later i mean i just thought about the fact that come on you did not actually go to the offices to ask at the time you know so we had to i had to actually go to the office and they're like oh yes sure you can get some of these benefits you know and i was like wow especially children allowance it was really children allowance i was you know concerned about like oh yeah sure so far you've lived in malta for six months yes you would um you have access to this benefit and i was like wow can it be prorated <laughs> can we <laughs> no not prorate can we backdate it and they're like i oh, know they cannot backdate it and all but that going forward obviously i'll be getting these payments and at the time i was really interested in it because i wasn't working it was just my husband that was working like i mean he had just started working in malta i mean every extra cash would have come in handy at the time but then it is what it is right so i'll just be picking out a few of the benefits just a few family benefits and you know other benefits let's start from the beginning like okay so you want to get married right do you know there's a marriage grant that they give to those who have gotten married be it a marriage or a civil union each spouse will get a one-off payment of 295 euros but then you have to have lived in malta for six months you cannot just come and you know start claiming funds no and then also you don't even have to have gotten married in malta so it has to the date of the marriage must not exceed six months basically and then so you're married and then you decide that oh okay i want to have babies you have had your baby there's a childbirth or adoption bonus that you're given it's a one-off payment though so i mean if you have a baby or you've adopted a baby a one-time bonus of 400 is paid per child to the mother once you have your baby if you have three plates that's one 200 one 200 euros oh my god god help nigeria <laughs> because we got nothing like oh gosh well i mean it is what it is so you get 400 euros per child which is really amazing so we have a couple of maternity benefits as well we have first of all the maternity leave benefit i think that's what it's called maternity leave benefit here yeah, because ideally you have 14 weeks of paid maternity leave from your employer which is fully paid for right so when, after aside this 14 weeks the government also gives you four weeks extra paid maternity leave at the end of the day you have 18 weeks paid leave right 18 weeks oh wow that's quite a lot in nigeria it was 12 weeks paid and then the extra four weeks that you might want to take would not be paid for yeah so that's beautiful i mean 18 weeks is about five months almost five months wow that's amazing so basically you get 18 weeks in total paid maternity leave benefit there are a lot of other benefits maternity benefits that i will not be going through now right so eventually when you have the child there are of course a lot of other benefits for the children there's also the meal grant if you want to if for some reason you cannot breastfeed your child or if you are 
you need to wean your child however the child has to be like less than 40 weeks of age so that's around 10 months wow so they give you a meal grant i think the fee the sum is about three you get around 23 euros weekly for meal grant towards milk or you know baby food and all which is really amazing per child wow 23 euros hmm. so just in case you cannot breastfeed your child or if you need to win your child and the child has to be um 10 months like 40 weeks of course a lot of other benefits for the children you know so we have the children allowance the children allowance is always paid i think every three months it's always paid every three months on specific dates of course you have to have lived in Malta for six months to have access to these benefits if you earn anything less than twenty five thousand euros gross per year you get paid you could get paid up to of course depending on what the figure is they would calculate it accordingly you get up to 24 euros you get up to 24 euros per child weekly so if you have two children that's 48 and so on and so forth however if you earn above if you earn above 25,000 euros per year you get around 80 euros weekly per child that's like the that's like the minimum so if, if you're earning whatever it is 80,000 100,000 35,000 whatever figure you're earning you get it euros so aside the child allowance there's also the child allowance supplement to be honest i didn't even know about this particular figure until i started like doing this research preparing for this video right so there's a child supplement i think this was introduced in 2020 during covid period or so and it has stayed right so the child allowance supplement is also paid at the time the bonus is paid at the time the allowance is paid every three months so i think in the whole year depending on what income you earn so in a year if we were to calculate this per venture one is on the minimum wage or you earn less than twenty five thousand euros per, or you earn like depending on what your income is the maximum you can get is around if we should calculate this it will be around one thousand around one thousand one hundred and then plus the seventy five euros supplement by the way mind you this is like depending on your income so that's around 1,227 in hand at the end of the year for one child. Wow, this is really good. I mean, this is really amazing. So, and then if you earn above the threshold, you'll be getting around 450 euros-ish per child. Yes, per child in a year. Okay, then plus the supplement of 50 euros. So that's around 500 euros per child if you earn above the threshold. And if you choose to apply for it okay so that's for children's allowance there are other allowances there's the disabled child allowance so for example if you have a child that is um, disabled in one way or the other remember some disabilities are not visible so you can have access to um, an allowance as well i think it's about 30 euros every week for that child if adventure you do not have children or you've not been collecting children's allowance there's also what they call the supplement your salary must not exceed 14,318 in the case of a couple and then about 10,000 in the case of a single person, right? So depending on if you are responsible for the household or not, you get this particular um, allowance. So for a single person, you get a maximum weekly rate of 1150 euros. For a married, and then for a married couple, you get around 21, 14 euros every week. Right, just to kind of support, you know, cost of living and all. Okay, and then there's the energy benefits income as well, also for low income earners. I mean, it's very your salary basically must not exceed ten thousand two two one per year. So you get you could get up to a maximum assistance of seventy five euros per year per person in the household. And then if you have your meter, your electricity meter, or your water meter, you can also get you know claim some funds for some funds too if you are a low income earner okay you need to take care of a child that is really really dependent and you need to you cannot work you know you get they call it carers assistance right you get i think depending on the situation you get a maximum of 97 euros 97 i mean you get a maximum of around 97 euros per week paid to you wow. this is really good wow okay so 
And that one that I saw that was really, I was really wild was drug addict assistance. So for example, if you know that you're addicted to drugs and you have chosen by yourself to go into rehabilitation, right? You'll be given around 40 euros per week, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mind you, you'll not be given anything if, oh, maybe you had to get a court order or police or a directive or something instructing you to, you know, go into this. I don't think you'll be given anything but if you have chosen yourself that you want to be clean and you want to go into rehabilitation they'll give you around 40 euros weekly towards that okay also there are also in work benefits so you're working depending on your income you get allowances as well right <laughs> so if you earn between 26 to 35,000, you get around 3 euros 35 every week you know if as a single person if you want or you don't even have to be single if you're married and you're the only one working you get up and you earn around 26 to 35 you get around 3 euros 35 every week right and then you could also get as high as 14 euros every week if you're earning less than 10k per year okay and then if you're a couple if both couple as if both husband and wife or if both spouses work you can get as high as 28 euros 85 weekly okay <clears throat> obviously depending on the figure right so i mean this is really beautiful okay and then if you have been previously employed and unfortunately for some reason you lose your job don't worry that's not the end of the world you get allowances as well okay mind you you must have been working and paying social security before now before this happens and please <laughs> no one should know that's why i mentioned that no one should okay you decide to come to malta and you already have it at the back of your mind that oh the government will be paying me and you, for some reason you inflict injury on yourself or something i don't know if people do that but i mean i'm just saying you know you now work for one year and now decide to you know st stay in your house and be collecting allowances i mean that won't be fair okay but then if you work and as if you actually work and you've lost your job for some reason, you get these allowances, right? So they call it unemployment assistance. Okay, so it's a weekly rate for the head of the household. You get around 811 euros every week and every other person in the household gets around 80 euros every week. Okay, that's the unemployment. I think that's one allowance. And I think there's also one they call special unemployment benefit. You know, it's paid every day. So it's six days a week up to a maximum of 158 days in a year. So it's, I think there's a daily, mar daily married rate of 22 euros 25 if you're married. And if you're single, it's 14 euros 68 every day. So, I mean, like I said, there are a lot of other benefits. There are the, the, the pension, there's the one, a lot, a lot, a lot of benefits for the elderly as well. There's a medical assistant benefit. You know, if one is sick, if, for example, one has an injury, there's benefits for that as well. You know, you can get it on this website, socialsecurity.gov.mt to get more. And if you are not clear about any of these benefits and you're not sure if it applies to you or not, you can send an email to social.security at gov.mt. They are very quick at response, like trust me, right? Thank you so much for watching. Again, please. Mota is not a charity organization. <laughs> you have to work to earn it, okay? Thank you again for watching. Bye.